So Mark, how do you break that result down? Um, well, I think really two moments of quality uh, is the difference in the game. I thought the game itself was very, very poor. I thought the lack of quality was, was, was um, you know, evident from both teams. Um, we should have tried to play a slightly different way today. Obviously, we're not in a good place at the moment, results-wise. Um, and we sort of went a little bit different and tried to play with like a 4-4-2 shape and be really solid in our shape. Uh, play with Brandon and sort of Cabby up there to try and maybe get some balls down the sides to cause some problems. And I thought it actually sort of worked, to, you know, to, to a degree. I mean, we, we got into some good positions. Um, there wasn't a lot in the game at all. Um, Sort of bit of a mistake for Reece Fleet, you know, who obviously gave the ball away in the edge of our own penalty area first half. And the lad um, who they got on loan from Southampton, sort of great finish, bent it in the top corner. So we found ourselves 1 0 down, but I thought we then gave a good reaction, to be honest. I thought we, we got into so many good positions. Uh, sort of Kyron Wilkshire at the far post almost sort of got a couple there. Lad did very well to sort of defend it almost on the line. Bobson sort of got himself into a great position, but the quality wasn't there on the shooting. Um, you know, um, Brandon as well, I think a few times, just shots going woefully over the crossbar. And that was the difference today. We, you know, we got into great positions, you know, we had just as much of the ball of them, if not more. Uh, but we just, um, you know, can't seem to hit the target with our shots. Um, you don't seem to be getting the break of the ball really either at times. But, you know, no, that was a, you know, the way I saw it. I thought we were. You know, a, a, a lack of quality again, which I keep sort of saying, you know, over recent weeks. And that puts pressure on the rest of the side then. If you don't look like you're going to score, you know, it puts pressure on the defence, it puts pressure on the goalkeeper. And uh, that's our problem at the moment. I mean, you know, let's, looking back at that, you know, we failed to hit the back of the net today. We didn't manage to do it on Tuesday. Um, where did we go? Um, the, 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 I think we failed to score uh, against Gloucester at home. I think we failed to score against Maidstone away. Uh, I might have missed a sort of game out there, but at the moment we're just looking like we've got a dire lack of quality in the final third, which is putting pressure on on the rest of the group. Um, you know, we're not. I can't, you know, there wasn't a lack of effort out there today, I didn't think. Although, you know, questionably you could say, could we be doing more? But. That is our problem at the moment. I think I'm running out of patience now with uh, with one or two uh, of the lads, and um, I won't criticise anybody, um, you know, personally on camera. You know, they're a great bunch of lads. You know, they're, they're, I'm sure that they're doing their best, but to be honest, some of it it just isn't good enough for the level we need to win games of football at this level. And um, I think I'm going to be extremely busy over the next few days. I'm going to have to try and use all of the contacts that I've got in the game, mm -hmm. and I think I'm going to have to try to maybe, you know, move one or two on you know, uh, and try to bring two or three in because we need something, some freshness, we need some more quality in our team. You know, I obviously brought three players into the club a couple of weeks ago and that hasn't really sort of made any sort of real impact, you know, not criticising those three players individually, but, you know, it hasn't sort of really helped us much. Mm -hmm. um, Obviously, we're missing sort of Zach McEachern and Ben Jefford t today and Craig mm. King, you know, sort of three players that perhaps you would probably say would be in your team if they were all fit and available. Mm. Um, but, you know, again, the subs that I made today, you know, to be fair, Jack Self came on and I thought was quite busy and it looked as though he sort of had some passion about him, you know, didn't, but, the, the, but again, not really having much of an impact from, from, from the bench. And at the moment, we're not in a good place, you know, we. I was trying to be positive with the boys at half time, you know, because we were only one nil down and we had created lots and lots of good opportunities. But, you know, and then second half again, glorious chances that we're just not taking. Now, you know, some people might say, well, perhaps you're being a bit harsh if you're creating the chances, you know, they will go in and all this. But, you know, how long do you keep waiting for? How long do you keep sort of um, persevering with players who are like shooting the ball sort of 25 yards over the crossbar, you know, when we're in good positions and crossing it behind the goal and giving the ball away and things like that. And, uh, you know, we want to try and play a, a diff, a, 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 an expansive type of game, a possession-based game. But at the moment, you're just, I'm trying to, to sort of scratch my head as you know where the next win's coming from mm. uh, but we won't quit you know I won't won't quit you know obviously care about the club you know great to see 10 11 supporters make the trip down today and I've got to work very hard in the next few days to try and uh, bring some more quality into the group because uh, you know it's not happening for us at the moment 
Uh, brilliant. Thank you, Mark. And uh, see you next weekend. Thank you.